Uh, hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I'll show you a very quick one how to interface a PDM microphone, a digital microphone, very cheap, one euro microphone, with an FPGA. You only need four wires, ground uh, power, uh, drive the clock to the microphone and uh, data comes out from the microphone. Uh, it's very very simple, I'm going to show you on the scope, uh, the output, the analog output, and uh, so Let's go for it. Example, uh, microphone here that you see from DigiKey. Uh, they're quite cheap, about one euro in decent quantities. Uh, if I open the data sheet here, you will see they are. They have a very very simple interface. They have just a few pins. Uh, how do you connect them? You only need to drive the clock, right? So you drive the clock signal here, and they will spit out a bit stream, which is PDM modulated. Now for a stereo arrangement, they have an extra pin. That you can strap to VDD or to um, ground and uh, that will tell the microphone to present the data on the rising edge or on the falling edge of the clock as you can see here so by doing this you can actually join the output of the of the microphone the two microphones because one is going to change the output the other one is going to back off and then the other one is going to drive and the other is backing off so they go in tandem like this in a stereo arrangement if uh, you strap the select pin to the to the proper um, to the ground or to the VCC. Now, wh why you do this? Because we can save we can save uh, uh, one data line here instead of having two data lines for the two microphone. We have one. The only thing is inside the codec or inside the FPGA, we need to sample one microphone on the rising edge of the clock and the other one on the falling edge. Okay, let me show you the FPGA design. So. This is what we have in Vivado, what we put together in Vivado, right? It's a clock generator again. Uh, this is a module that I wrote in VHDL to generate the um, clock for the microphone. Here, you see, going out. And it's taking in the data from the microphone. And it's formatting a little bit the data to be presented in an uh, Axis stream format to be compatible with the rest of the blocks. Uh, why do I need to generate the clock here um, to drive the microphone? Uh, it's a fairly low frequency of the this PDM clock. It's 3.072 megahertz clock. Now you're wondering why this particular 3.075 because it's a multiple of a um, common um, audio sampling rate. I think 48 kilohertz. So if you multiply 48 kilohertz, I think eight times you get that frequency okay so uh, and now you're wondering okay why do we need to have this because we are going to decimate i.e divide the sampling rate through filtering and we want to fall on uh, let's say standard audio sampling rate okay so uh, first of all the clock generate the clock generator is generating two clocks one clock is going to be for the for this uh, stream interface and is going to drive the decimator and um, DAC formatter which this is the DAC circuit which is adding a DC offset to be compatible with my uh, resistor ladder DAC so one challenge here if you ask the PLL to generate a such a low frequency like a 3 megahertz is not going to work because the PLL has a limit has a uh, minimum and the maximum um, um, frequency. So what I did, I actually kind of drive the a multiple of the of the microphone frequency, which is twenty four point five seven something, uh, and I gen I I use that for the axis stream, for the transport stream, and for the those two blocks. And internally in this block, which I wrote in VHDL. I divided with a simple counter, I divided that clock by 8 and this is how I got the, the 3.072 megahertz. Um, so this block, what it does, it has some simple counters inside, it's a 3-bit counter to divide the clock and uh, obviously forwarding the clock outside and it's, uh, it's arranging a little bit the uh, data coming from the microphone to be compatible with the uh, with axis stream format, it's, I can I can make a video just about that if someone is interested. But anyway, uh, the signal, the one bit signal, PDM signal from the microphone, is coming through this pin. 
So the, in order for the microphone to work, it only need, we only need to drive the clock and it's going to spit out a bit stream, one bit bit stream, Delta Sigma modulated, uh, which has the proper concentration of bits one or bit zero to represent our signal. Okay, so this CIC dec decimator, this is a low pass and decimator filter. So I'm going to expand it a little bit. Let's hope it shows up quick enough. Okay, so the decimation I choose here to decimate. Decimate means slow down, right? So uh, one co what comes from the microphone, it's a one bit, which is toggling with 3.072 megahertz. Now, if we decimate this by 32, this is going to slow down the sampling rate to this. Uh, okay, actually, you have to put those parameters in. So I said here that I have the input input frequency of 3.0072 megahertz. Uh, this is my main clock. So this module is going to take this main clock. And we can calculate with a calculator what is going to be the, the new sampling frequency. So I'm going to open here a calculator. And just bring it here. Come on, Windows, don't fail me. So we have 3.07, what am I doing? Standard calculator, 3.07, and we divide this by decimate by 32, and we are going to get this. So it's going to be a 96 kilohertz uh, audio sampling rate. So our audio samples after the decimation here, they are going to be 96 K samples, kilo samples. Okay, now another interesting thing is here, I'm asking to truncate the bit, the output bits to 16 bit. Now, when we do this, when, when the signal passes to the CIC, from one bit input uh, is actually growing. For every decimation, is actually the, the number of bits they double. So we can actually ask here what we want we want full full precision basically is going to present what is what is actually should come from all this process so if i go full precision we're going to get 27 bits we don't need 27 bits i'll go truncation truncation means it's going to keep only the uh, and i can say here 16 like i i need six sorry 16 right so the output of this core is going to be 16 bit it's going to truncate the result to 16 bit uh, you see here that uh, input, I have to put the input one, even if we have just one bit, I have the CIC, this, this particular piece of IP, it doesn't accept one bit. So we need to put two bits and I'll explain why it doesn't accept. Um, okay, we say okay. So now we configure this block. So we, oh, one bit audio sample, actually two bit, audio samples that are going to get into this block, they're going to be decimated by 32 and uh, new wider um, samples that are going to come out of this with 96 kilohertz as the new sampling okay so what do we have here we have the z board the fpga board and we have a pdm um, output microphone i'll try to zoom i hope it stays in focus right so you see there are four wires going to the board uh, power ground uh, clock and data and here we have a very crude uh, DAC made with the um, with resistors and I have an RC filter here a resistor a capacitor to filter the, um, the output so now I'll show you the show scope please don't laugh it's an old scope uh, and you can see what I'm talking I'll try to zoom Hello, testing, testing. This is the audio signal coming from the microphone. Boom. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing fancy, just a piece of uh, VHDL. Uh, the microphone, which is one euro and four wires.